नमस्ते वेलकम टू अवर ग्रुप वन गाइडेंस क्लासेस टेलीकास्टेड बाय टी सेट एज यू नो दैट लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया इन पॉइंट ऑफ प्रीलिम्स एंड मेंस एग्जामिनेशन फॉर मैथ्स बैकग्राउंड एस्पेरेंट्स इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल आई थिंक सो बट नॉन मैथ्स बैकग्राउंड स्टूडेंट्स इज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ डिफिकल्ट एज यू नो इट दिस a very important thing as you know it so arithmetic when you take it as it comes under the simple uh, general mathematics sometimes we call it as a general mathematics also so we have a uh, uh, profit and loss simple interest compound interest ratios and proportions uh, time and distance like uh, various areas they will ask in the uh, this particular uh, uh, field so we are going to discuss about uh, those things here among that the very important uh, one and a very simple one is a profit and loss correct so here uh, what is profit and what is loss as you know it and there are so many formulas uh, about the profit and loss here profit and loss formula is used to in mathematics to determine the price of a commodity commodity in the market and understanding how profitable a business is every product has here uh, some new terms will comes in that is called a cost price selling price market price maximum retail price mrp like different uh, uh, terminology will come here okay if the cost price is uh, more than the uh, selling price means you will get less loss if the cost price is very less and uh, selling price is very high when you come you will get maximum profit so depends on the uh, the value of cost price and and selling price the it varies of profit and loss and profit percentage and loss percentage also clear okay if a product has a cost price and a selling price based on the values of these prices we can calculate the profit gain or loss incurred for a particular product the important terms covered here just now i said the pra cost price fixed variable and some variable cost selling price market price list price margin price etc all these are uh, various terms so you have to know about all these things here for example a shopkeeper if the value of selling price is more than the cost price of commodity then it's a profit if the cost price is more than selling price it becomes as a loss so simply very simple if you say as cost price as cp selling price as sp if uh, cost price is more than the selling price you will get loss if cost price is less than the selling price you will get profit that's it clear so like you can calculate then how much percentage you will so i am going to give so when you have a, a pen and paper with you better to write all these formulas so these formulas are very important at the same time very easy so profit or gain the there's a profit is selling price minus cost price means simply you can say sp minus cp is called profit or gain if the cost price is more than the selling price then you will get loss at the time cost price minus selling price is loss and selling price minus cost price is profit as you say you can say as these are two formulas then profit percentage profit percentage means uh, we will uh, define we will uh, give the a uh, percentage value either profit or loss with respect to cost price for example if you want to calculate profit uh, percentage simply profit by the cost price into 100 which gives a profit percentage if you if you say a loss percentage loss by cost price into 100 that is called loss percentage is it clear in this manner you can calculate loss percentage 
and the profit percentage. For these two values, the you have to calculate it with respect to cost price because uh, a profit or loss depends on cost price. If the cost price is more than selling price, loss. Cost price is less than selling price, profit. That's it. Okay. And now to increase the business, to promote the business, uh, the uh, what you the shopkeeper generally what he will do that he will give a discount. He will discount. Now see a uh, DMART, Reliance, uh, uh, like different different uh, come shopping malls are coming here. They will give some discount on uh, the again the uh, market price. For example, uh, the uh, market price of a, a, a a product is 200 rupees. So, he will sell it for for example, 160 rupees means uh, nearly he reduced 40 percent means he gave a discount of 20 percent for 100 rupees 20 for 200 rupees it is 40. So, 160 clear. So, that is called 20 percent of discount. So, simply a discount is a market price minus a selling price. And if you want to calculate a discount percentage, simply the discount by market price in 200. This is a, a very, very important. Now, you have two kinds of uh, a cost. One is called a fixed cost, second one is called variable cost. The fixed cost is by nature, it is a constant, it does not vary under any circumstances. Clear? So, that is a fixed cost, so it will not change. But variable cost, it could vary depending as per the number of units. For example, see uh, now the onions. So, if you take it as a, a previously uh, the product of onions is less, the consumption is also less. Okay. So, then simply uh, the cost price of that is one, one of once upon a time, it's, uh, it reaches to 100 rupees also. Now, it is uh, now 4 or 5 kilos or comes for uh, 100 rupees. Means uh, the cost price means of, uh, uh, of course, selling price for the onions is becomes as 20, 25 rupees, even tomatoes also. See, so here the value is varies. So, this is called, it is considered as a variable cost. Then a fixed cost, a fixed cost means here, uh, for example, uh, some uh, uh, product is there, for example, Horlicks. Uh, 1 kilo product is there. So, it cost is or it says 400 rupees per kilogram. Then, so if the number of uh, units are increased or number of units are decreased, it does not matter. So, it cost is fixed, it is a 400 rupees that is called a fixed cost. Okay. Now, we will see these are the some more formulas because uh, here the formulas are very, very important. So, you have to uh, learn all these formulas. Uh, better to if you have uh, you are viewing uh, this program on um, uh, television channel, so better to take a, a, a photo snap or uh, uh, if you are doing a YouTube channel or other thing here, take a snapshot if it is possible, then record all because these are these formulas are highly useful definitely it help you to to any kind of question concerned to the profit and loss clear. Okay. So, here once again just I will give a, a fast look about uh, the formulas. Profit is uh, selling price minus cost price just now I said. So, when selling price is more than cost price you have will get a profit and the loss is nothing but cost price minus selling price and the cost price is more than the uh, selling price as you know it then only you will get loss and the Pass, uh, profit percentage is uh, profit by cost price into 100, whereas last percentage is last by cost prices into 100. And here if this, these two, of course, these four, everyone knows it here. Uh, if you want to know, means if the selling price is no, want to know, and if the cost price is known, and profit percentage is known, it does not know profit, profit percentage is known, then the selling price is uh, 100 plus P percentage by 100 into cost price, 100 by 100 plus P. For example, there is a, a 20 percent profit is given, means here 100 plus 20 by 100 
for example, for is 40, 40 rupees for example, the cost price means here 120 by 100 into 40 means you can say as uh, this 0, 0 get cancelled uh, to 5s uh, to 20s uh, ok, 5 1s uh, 5 4s uh, means 12 4s uh, 48 means you can say that selling price is 48 rupees and uh, cost price is 40 percent when there is a 20 percent of profit means here when the profit percentage is known and cost price is known you can calculate the selling price as simply selling price is equal to 100 plus profit percentage by 100 into cost price this amount ok. For example, instead of profit percentage there is a, a loss was there then the last percentage is given then you can calculate. So, when profit say generally plus loss means say it is minus same question for example, for 40 rupees uh, cost and 20 rupees uh, last percentage means you have to say 100 minus 20 by 100 into 40 means uh, 80 by 100 into 40 means uh, you as you know that 4 ones uh, 4 25 um, means uh, ok uh, 25 is uh, clear. So, you can say 8 by uh, 25 means 80 here which is 100 and 40 rupees 8 by 80 by 100 means you can say 24 is uh, 25 is um, 5 ones uh, 5 8 uh, 4 8 is uh, 32 rupees means here means uh, selling price is 32 rupees when the cost price is 40 rupees when there is a 20 percentage of loss was there ok. Yeah. Like uh, uh, when past percentage or last percentage is given and the cost price is known then you can calculate the selling price this is these are the formulas ok. For example, you may ask sir uh, so here I, there is a selling price is given cost price you have to find it then just the formula like a reciprocal means here. that is 100 plus p by 100 into uh, cost price you know here the cost price is is 100 by 100 plus profit percent is into selling price that is it. Even if last percentage is given simply 100 by 100 minus last percentage into selling price. In this manner see the presence of mind is very important to do all these kind of questions here ok. So, here the very important is um, false weight profit percentage will be false weight means true weight means false weight by false weight into 100. So, for example, this is a very important concept area also. There are uh, uh, two or three successful uh, profits comments, then m percent and n percent then the net percentage profit is equal to how much. There is m percentage there n per for example, you purchased uh, a a television set for example, 25,000 rupees and you sold it for 10 percent. Again that person is sold it for 15 percent, then what is the total percentage of profit means you have to say uh, 10 plus 15 plus 10 into 15 that is 150 whole by simply 100 then that will give us that. So, that is you can give it as in the form of m plus n plus m n whole by 100 is uh, gives the successive or successful profits that is it. Same manner if it is a loss then what, what you have to do means uh, instead of plus you have to say minus means here here m plus n plus m n you know then you have to say m minus n minus m n by 100 that is it. When profit is there use plus and um, 
when loss is there say minus ok. If a product is sold at m percent profit then again sold at n percent profit then actual cost price of product will be simply 100 into 100 into p by 100 plus m plus 100 plus n. If it is loss say it is minus is it clear like you can ask that one. If p percent and l percent are equal then p is equal to n and percent as of is uh, p square by 100. So, these are the few formulae so to calculate the cost price or selling price, profit percentage, loss percentage means here there are four quantities here cost price, selling price, profit percentage, loss percentage of course, profit and loss. By using all these uh, six you can uh, write nearly 6 or 10 around 6 to 10 uh, formulas here. So, that formula means uh, the practice gives uh, very clear uh, practice to you to get it. Otherwise, if you buy heart it of course, it is a little bit of difficult to get. So, okay. now we will practice the questions for based on, on this formula. A person sold a stove for 423 rupees and incurred a loss of 6 percent. At what price it would, would be sold as as to earn a profit of 8 percent? A person sold a stove for 423 rupees. So, here a selling price is um, 423 rupees and there is a loss percent 6 percent is at what percent would it be sold as so as to earn a profit of 8 percent. Okay. So, here uh, a small uh, a tip is given to you to calculate it is uh, a last percent is a percent then the selling per price is 100 minus a percent of cost price correct. Okay. So, what is given 423 a last percent is 100 means here selling price is equal to 423 into 100 minus 694. 100. So, if you calculate this one simply you will get it as uh, uh, around um, 100 into 94 cp correct 94 cp big doesn't know that is 423 by 100 calculate it then you will get around 486, 94 by 23 by 100 correct into 100 by 90 which is equal to 486. So, the selling price is equal to 423 rupees, 100 minus 6 points of costing price is 94 CP by 100. So, CP is equal to 423 100 by 94, this is the value. Okay. Next at what percent it will be sold as a profit and 8 percent is given. The gain percent is a percent then it is 100 plus a into cost price. 8 percent 108 by 100 into cost price is 423. Clear this is selling price. So, uh, you can uh, calculate uh, this value means uh, uh, 108 by 100 and here the very important thing is it is 94 percent of the cost price is given means uh, 108 by 100 into 423 by 94 into 100. When you simplify it this is a very clear. So, 254 is a 250 is a clear 250 is a 247 this 50 and 50 we can get cancel 54 by 47 into 420 correct. So, you can calculate as a 47 ones a 47 nines a means 54 nines a simply 486 rupees. So, like you can calculate the value clear. So, here the last percentage is given 
profit percentage is also given then you have to calculate it ok. Now, we will see a uh, one more question. A fruit seller buys lemons at 2 rupees for a rupee and sells them at 5 rupees for 3 rupees is what is his gain percentage. A fruit seller buys lemons at 2 for a rupee and sells them for 3 rupees is gain percentage. So, very, very simple question, but uh, we have to understand the nature of question here means here a fruit seller buys lemons 2 for I means at the rate 2 rupees and sells then 5 for 3 rupees 5 for 3 rupees okay 2 for a rupee 2 for a rupee means here cost of each one is 50 paisa and 5 for 3 rupees correct 5 for uh, 3 rupees means uh, each one is 5 by 3 each one is 5 by 3 5 by 3 means here simply uh, is uh, and 5 for 3 rupees means here 60 paisa here do not forget it is a 60 paisa each one is 60 each one is 50 paise here is each one is 60 paise means here simply is 10 paise by what is this one 50 paise into 100 correct 51 the 52 the it is 20 percent simply it is 20 percent are you understand this question here a fruit seller buys the lemons at 2 for a rupee, 2 for a rupee means here the cost price of each lemon is 50 paisa ok and sells then 5 for 3 rupees means uh, the selling price of each one is uh, 3 rupees means 300 by 5 means 60 paisa then you will get percentage gain, gain percentage means here a profit percentage selling price minus cost price that is 10 paise, the total is 50 into 100, 51 is a 52 is a means there is a profit percentage of a 20 percent, is it clear? So, in this manner you can calculate, of course here I have, a, I have shown you the, the another me me method that is seller buys 2 lemons for 1 rupee means here how much can he buy in, uh, for 10 rupees? So, here a calculation is a uh, calculated 10 rupees means here uh, for uh, 10 rupees uh, he will come purchase uh, for 1 rupee 2 now for 10 rupees it is to 10 to the uh, 20 lemons. The cost price he sells 5 lemons for 3 rupees 5 lemons you have he has 20 he has 20 lemons for 5 ru 3 rupees 5 so means uh, 12 rupees correct because for uh, 3 rupees 5 lemons, for 6 rupees 10 lemons, uh, for 9 rupees 15 lemons, for 20 lemons uh, uh, is nothing but 12 rupees. So, means here 10 rupees is the cost price, 12 rupees is the selling price, 2 rupees is the profit or gain, 2 by 10 into 100 that is a 20 percent, this is another method. Is it clear? So, how we are going to do this question? that is a different thing, but uh, arriving the correct answer that is a, a very very important. Okay, now, I am going to discuss it one more. Is, is A sells a car to B at 10 percent of loss and B sells it for uh, 54,000 rupees and gains a 20 percent. The cost price of the car for A was uh, how much? A sells a car at uh, 10 percent loss. B sell it for 54,000 rupees, A sells the car to B 10, 10 percent loss and B sells because we does not know the cost price. So, simply say as x ok. Uh, B sells it for 54,000 rupees and gain a 20 rupees, 20 percent means here uh, is uh, uh, 
is selling price of this one is simply you can calculate that is 100 by 120 because into 54,000 rupees clear means here this 0 and this 0 will get cancelled and uh, you can uh, calculate as um, um, 12 okay 2 5 2 6 6 na 9000 so this is means 45000 so 45000 so means uh, simply the cost price the cost price of b cp of b is 45000 A sells a car at to be at 10 percent loss means uh, you have to calculate cost price of E means uh, uh, you have to increase of 45,000 to 10 percent 10 by 100 means these two these two get calculated it is uh, simply uh, 4,500 correct 4,500. So, means here 10 percent loss. So, means you can calculate that as uh, uh, this 4500 means will be added to this. So, there was a loss of 10 percent means 100 minus A means 90 by 100 and the cost price is equal to 45000 selling price and selling cost price is equal to 45,000 into 100 by 90. The 0, the 0 get cancelled. 9 ones are 9 fives are. How much you get it as 50,000 rupees. Correct? So, the cost price is 50,000 rupees here. Yeah. So, like you can calculate the values. Now, we will see one more. Ramesh sold a st statue for a price of 25 percent higher than the original price of the statue. Uh, he had uh, however, bought the status at 20 percent discount on the original price with the profit of 2025 find the original price of the statue. Uh, so, here 6000, 7500, 3500 and uh, 4500 is given here. This is the options here. So, the Ramesh sold a statue for a price of 25 percent higher than the original price. We does not know say the original price is P means here 125 by 100 P is equal to cost price correct original price. And he bought set 20 percent discount of the original price means here 80 by 100 of P correct means uh, you have to subtract 120 by 100 minus uh, by 80 by 100 simply you have to say 45 by 100 p difference is 40. So, it is given with the profit of uh, how much it is uh, 2025 it is 2025. So, you can say p is equal to 2025 into 100 by 45 45 ones uh, 45 uh, Okay. So, when you divide with 45, so here uh, 5 9s uh, 5 4 not 5s um, correct and 9 1s uh, 9 45 uh, means simply 4500 rupees will comes. Is it clear? Like you can calculate uh, the amount, this is a very important. So, uh, the especially this market price, the selling price, if you calculate it, these things are very, very useful. Okay, like uh, you can calculate it. Now, so the very important thing is uh, the compound interest formula that is uh, a very useful here. Simply as you know that, uh, so here uh, simple interest uh, uh, I is equal to PTR by 100 and the amount is uh, P plus I, this is for simple interest. For compound interest, uh, the formula is A equal to P into 
1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n. E here p is the principal amount, r is the rate of interest, n is the number of years. This is a, these formulas also are very very important. Clear? So by using this, you can calculate the compound interest also. So I hope you practice uh, all these uh, formulas and uh, just nothing but uh, uh, simplification, manipulation, simplification and manipulation. Say. Clear? Okay. Namaste.